Hey guys, today I'm at Mount Rubido here in Riverside, California, in Southern California, and that's the mountain right there. Now, mountain's a bit of a stretch. It's more like a bump in the middle of flat riverside. And this is not the normal hiking guide that I put up here. It's a, it's a crowded hike. It's short. It's about, it's under three miles for the loop. Um, and it's all paved. So why am I doing this? Well, a lot of people have asked uh, me for directions up to the top here. So I just wanted to show you what the experience is like, where to make the turns, and uh, you know, just give you uh, expectation so that when you come here, you know what it is. Now there are other dirt trails in the area here that you can do, and there's a ton of them you can explore all over the place. But I'm gonna show you the main route up to the top. You can visit the cross, the flag, the peace tower, and then come back down. So uh, that's what I'll show you in this guide and these turn by turn directions. If you wanna do it, uh, make sure you go to hikingguide.com where I have information on the parking, which is a little bit tricky, and maps and some tips on doing it. But otherwise, uh, let me show you how to get up here. All right, so once you come up from the parking area, you're gonna see this big sign. You're gonna to wanna to make a left here, and you'll see this little ramp that goes around the gate, and up ahead is the trail board, so check that out for any notices. There's also a cool Mount Rubido sign on the top that I see a lot of people taking Instagram shots with, so that's there. We're gonna be heading up there to the summit as we go up here. Now at this, this part there, there's a uh, little thing where you can fill your water. There are no bathrooms here, so if you need to go to the bathroom, you do that in the parking area. We're just going to head up this paved trail. And you can see that it goes uphill, but it's not really steep. There's no real steep, crazy parts. It's a pretty gradual uphill as we go. And there's also these little mileage markers, quarter mile here um, on some of the trail. They're not consistent, but they are around. Give you an idea of your progress. Now the first significant landmark here will be this intersection. And when we come back, we're gonna come back down on the trail on the right over there. But to go to the top, which is up there, we're gonna make the sharp left here and continue on up the trail. Now you can see it's a little bit busy. This is a weekday, midday about. On the weekends, it's more packed. So plan your trip correctly. I have some tips on that on the guide as well. The nice thing is as you go up, the views are really opening up. Um, you're going to see Saddleback Mountain over there in Orange County. And then as you go up a little bit more, the trail kind of winds around to the north side. And there's a little bench where you can stop and check out the views. And then from the bench, you can look to the right and look up and you will see Angeles National Forest, which has um, Mount Baldy and Cucamonga Peak right up there. So really great views from Mount Rubidoux. We're going to continue going up the paved trail here. When you get close to the summit, there's some of these little areas where there's little turnoffs and overlooks and cutoffs like those people are going up right there. But we're going to stay on the paved trail. I'll show you how to do the hike on the paved trail as we go. Now, the next junction is important. Straight ahead is a bridge. We're going to be coming back down over that bridge. But to keep going up, we're going to make the right-hand turn here, hard right, and keep going up. When we come around this corner, we're going to be able to see Mount San Gorgonio, which is the highest peak in Southern California. It'll be straight ahead, right over there. And there's these steps that go up to the summit area. We're going to go there in a second, but we're not going to go that way. Instead, we're going to stop by the Peace Tower, which is right here. You can just walk up the stairs and check it out. It was built in 1925. And I have a little bit more on the history of this um, on the guide on hikingguide.com. So go there if you want to check it out. It was based on, or architecturally, on a bridge in Spain, so kind of cool. And they're, they're uh, pretty good about putting up interpretive displays and commemorative plaques, so you can read about everything here, which is also nice. And I always have a giggle because it's called the Peace Tower, and uh, it looks like a jail underneath. But from here, we're just going to go back up on the trail. You can go down the stairs on this side and continue going up. I'm going to come back around the north side of the mountain. Angeles National Forest is over there. And then up here, there's the flag. And pretty soon, once you go up here, you'll see the cross ahead of you as you approach the summit. And this part right here is the kind of junction at the summit. Now, when we go back down, we're gonna go back down on the right-hand side. There's the cross straight ahead of us. But if you wanna visit the flag, that's directly on your left here. You can go do that, climb up these stairs and see the flag right there. It wasn't windy on the day that I shot this, so it's not so so glorious in the calm, but uh, still nice to look at. 
Now there's also some cool interpretive displays. You can go up along the fence here. Here's one. There's another one a little ways up with a uh, timeline and a little bit about the history and preservation of the area. So check those out. When you're done with that, continue on up the road towards the cross, which is kind of the highlight of the summit area where you can climb to the highest point. And when you get to the base of the cross, it's these big steps and they're just tall enough that you can't really step up them unless you're really tall. So instead, what you want to do is just walk over to the other side over there where that big boulder is. And there's smaller, easier kind of baby steps that will help you get up to the cross area on the top. Here you can see the smaller steps, well-worn. This, uh, this whole area first became a park, I think in 1906. So there's been thousands and thousands, if not more, people walking here. You can see there's another interpretive uh, plaque here. You can walk up there. It's called the Sarah Cross. And there's a little controversy around the cross as well. You can read about that on the website. But come on up to the summit. It's pretty neat. You're going to get some panoramic views. You can crawl around in the boulders, spend some time up here, soak it all in. And then when you're done, we're just going to go back down to that junction that we went through earlier and go down to the left there, which is where the trail continues. Now the trail continues to be paved. It's paved all the way back down to the bottom and it's nice and cruisy. At this point, you're just going all downhill until you get back uh, to the parking lot. Now here's that bridge I mentioned earlier. We're back at that junction. And once you cross the bridge, you're gonna make this hard left-hand turn. It's a little bit tricky. Make this hard left-hand turn and just go back down under the bridge. And then from here on out, you're just gonna follow this paved path as it cruises down along and around uh, Mount Rubidoux on the north side. Beautiful views. There's a little hill over there that kind of looks like Half Dome. If you know what that is, leave me a comment. I'd be interested to hear about that. But keep going down the paved path, avoid any of the side dirt trails. Eventually you're going to come to this little monument to Huntington, who was one of the founders of the park. You might know him from Huntington Beach or the Huntington Library. And you can climb up through the boulders here. Kind of fun. The view pales in comparison to the summit, but I never um, pass up an opportunity to climb up Boulder. So here I am checking it out. And then from here, you're just going to go right back down the paved path and eventually you'll come out at the junction that I mentioned earlier. We we're coming out on the right. Originally, we made the turn to go uphill here, but instead, we're going to go straight through and then back onto the trail that you took up from the beginning. And after a few minutes, you will come back to the gate where you entered the park. And all you do is go back down here around the gate, make the right hand turn and walk down the sidewalk and you'll be back at the park where you started. So that's it. Not a lot to it. Get to see a lot, a lot of great views up here. So I do recommend trying it at least once. If you have not already, I want to make a trip here. But again, there's a lot of other hikes around here. You could probably loop this in with some other hikes and I have a list of all, um, hikes around in the area on hikingguy.com. And again, if you're watching on YouTube, there's a link to the guide right under the video. And if you are watching on YouTube, as always, if you give me that little thumbs up, I thank you in advance. That helps me out a ton. And it's an easy way to say thank you. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. And uh, before I sign off here, I just want to give a big uh, hello and shout out to Jesus, who uh, saw me on the hike and stopped me and recognized me from the website and said hello. So uh, please do that. If you ever see me out on the trails, please do stop me and say hello. I love meeting all of you guys and uh, getting to know you. So anywho, Mount Rubido, anywho, Rubido, 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 da, da, da. There's Angeles National Forest, by the way. You can see a snowy Mount Baldy peeking out above the ridge there. But I'll uh, see you guys out on the trails. Bye.